One of the last things that we need to talk about regarding media queries is the use of display none. Display none. I'm going to get a set up here with three images. I'm going to give each of them an ID. One will be mobile. One will be laptop or no tablet. No, this will be laptop. And finally, the third one will be desktop. Let me go ahead and grab those images real fast. There's mobile. Laptop. And desktop. Okay, so there are, are our three images. I'm going to go ahead and select them all in CSS and make sure they're 100 pixels wide. Okay, so they're all roughly the same size. And next to my images, I'm going to add an anchor. And this anchor is simply going to say our logo. Let's make the font size of this anchor larger as though it's a brand name for our business. Okay. All right, that'll do. I'm just simply, <coughs> simply getting things positioned a little bit. All right, so this is our logo. And next to our logo is going to be one of these three images. Not all three. At any given time, I want one of these three images to be present. Which image is present is going to be based on the size of our screen. So at a size like this, we should see the mobile phone. At a size like this, we should, well, like this, we should see the tablet. And any bigger, we should see the desktop, OK? So to do this, let's start from the very beginning, the widest possible screen. We're going to go from big to small. We want the desktop to show. The image with the ID of laptop and the image with the ID of mobile, we want to not show. So I'm going to go add media, max width, let's say 950 pixels again. And inside this media query, I'm, query, I'm going to select hashtag laptop and hashtag mobile. I'm going to give them the property of display with the value of none. There we go. I did this backwards though. We're going to do min width 950 pixels. So they're showing. And then when I get to 950 pixels and up, they disappear. All right, so display none allows us to hide elements. Now, why would you want to use display none in a media query? Well, because you might have a situation like this where you have three different pieces of content and you want a different piece of content to show based on the size of the screen, more likely as you get smaller, 
your content is going to start getting more and more crowded. As you get towards a smaller screen, your content will get very crowded, and you need to prioritize what information you want displayed, which means you might have to start hiding elements. Especially when you get down to a mobile screen, you will often see certain images will disappear. If there is an auto-playing video somewhere on the site, that is almost certain to disappear. Videos on a mobile phone like that are not a good idea for a website. You can have videos, but to have them autoplay as part of the background of a site or anything like that will severely slow down your site's experience on mobile. Um, sometimes you'll see whole swaths of content disappear on mobile simply because different information needs to be prioritized. The most important information needs to be relayed to the user. So everything that is less important, if it isn't essential that it be visually displayed, will be hidden. Now note here that mobile and laptop, these two images, they're still there in my elements tab. They're still present in the DOM, but they have been effectively hidden with this display none. If I turn it off, they reappear. So display none completely hides an element. Other elements act as though it's not even there. The element itself does not render. It's as though it never existed on our page. But it is still there in the code. It is still there in the code. Nevertheless, we've achieved the fact that we wanted, and um, Everything else is pretending that those images don't even exist. So let's keep going. That's our min width 950 pixels. Now let's try at a min width of 500 pixels. This will be between 500 pixels and 950 pixels. We want only the laptop image to show. So at a min width of 500 pixels, from 500 pixels on up, I want mobile and desktop set to display none. There we go. Laptop. Oh, we have a problem there. Have you figured out what's going on here? Why desktop is not displaying? above 950 pixels? It's because we set desktop to display none at a min width of 500 pixels. So from 500 pixels all the way on up to infinity, desktop is currently set to display none. Well, how can we override that inside this media query to make sure only laptop and mobile are display none? Well, we can select desktop again with an equally specific selector and we can set it to display initial. Initial is a very important CSS value that can be given to any CSS property and it's like hitting the reset button on that element or on that property, pardon me. It's like hitting the reset button on that property. A lot of students aren't aware whether an image by default is display block or display inline or something else altogether. So if I tried to make this display block to force it to show up, it'll show up, but it changes our layout. Images are not block elements. So if you don't know what the natural display property of an image is, I'd suggest you find out. But even so, you can simply apply the value of initial to the display property of desktop, and that will cause it to show up the way we need. Desktop, laptop. Desktop, laptop. Desktop, laptop. Okay, and now we have one more where we only want the mobile phone. Now for this, since we're using min width, 
how should we be developing our site? Should we be developing it mobile first or desktop first? The answer is mobile first. When you're new, using min-width media queries, you start from small and you work towards large, which means we're developing our site mobile first. So to account for the smallest possible screen, I don't even need a media query. I'm simply going to do this part in vanilla CSS. And I'm going to select laptop and desktop. Set them to display none. And then here in my laptop level media query, I want to do the same thing I did with desktop. Laptop, display, initial. Now we have mobile, laptop, desktop. We have one visible image element which completely changes content based on the size of our screen. And the way we accomplished this was with three image elements, two of which are being hidden at any given point in time, at any given screen size. So that is one use of display none. It is very, very common though for images, certain text, any kind of ancillary um, elements, to disappear as you get towards a smaller screen. And this is accomplished by using display none in a media query.